Right, let's get set up here. Hopefully everything is uh, organized and sorted out. Let's check our stuff. Right, there we go. Right, hopefully this is... Stuff. Yeah, we have audio and video. Okay, my friends. So, um, yeah, welcome back to the channel, my friends. Um, hope everybody is safe and well. Uh, my friends, we're going to be taking a look at a, a new mod by uh, My Game Steam. Uh, so he put out a new mod today uh, on his official website. So that is mods.mygamesteam.com. And uh, basically he's put out a very, very nice truck mod. Uh, a Ford Raptor uh, F-150. So this is the, the 2017 version or two, 2017 model of the uh, Ford Raptor F-150. Uh, we're going to take a look at it. Go and take a look at the mod, you know, the shop options, drive it around, you know, that type of thing, you know. Bit of a, a bit of a, a review of the of the mod and that type of thing. So just a basic kind of overview <coughs> of the uh, the mods that uh, I have installed here. Some of the stuff I've tested, some I haven't. So you know the the uh, the Warrior Module V, uh, the big M five hundred. Um, testing the, the Pottinger. I've got a few trailer packs that I've yet to actually test out. Um, so yeah, there's a you know, there's a few mods there that I you know I want to get gonna take a look at eventually. And uh, so you know I try and keep the my mod uh, you know my installed mods down to the bare minimum you know for performance reasons. Uh, I just find it you know just easier. Right, so yeah, just give me a second there, guys. Uh, bloody headset is... Uh, uh, headset is askew for some reason. It's not fitting properly in my head. Right, um... So basically, this is the... Uh, uh, give me a second there, guys. Bloody headset. Sorry about that. Oh dear. Yeah, there's something wrong with this headset this morning. It is not fitting correctly on my head for some reason. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to make some adjustments to the damn thing. You spend like 100 euros on a headset. You expect it to kind of fit. But I don't know. I've got the Logitech uh, uh, X Pro. X Gaming Pro, whatever they call it. It's supposed to be a good headset. I don't know. I think the leather on this thing needs more time to kind of uh, I don't know, adjust and whatnot. Right, so yeah, this is the um, this is the new mod by my game steam. This is the uh, the Ford Raptor, the F one fifty. Um, so we put it up here on the uh, so we're on the Iowa planes, our review planes, whatever they call it. So we'll just take a quick kind of look around it and that type of thing and see what it looks like. So this is the 2017 model of the uh, of the truck here. That's normal. That's not the wheels. So see the way they. Uh, that's the rocks. It's not to do with the wheels. The fact that they're um, in the ground there. So this mod does have simple IC, uh, and we'll be taking a look at the, uh, some of the features and that type. Just take a quick look around. Very nice engine sounds as well. Listen to that again. Sick 
action. Get out of here now. Let's just drive it down this area here. Get an idea for the, the kind of the dynamics of it, you know, this suspension system. Let's see what it drives like. And it's kind of rough terrain here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a deer? Holy crap. Bloody, look at them. God damn it, deer. Holy shit. They're walking over water now. Bloody deer. Oh, oh. like on slopes and that type of thing. Beeper is a little bit lackluster. I think the volume of the beeper could do with a little bit of a juicing up, I think. Oh, oh! Oh, shit! Oh, God damn it! Holy crap. Who put those ditches there? God damn it. ditches. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy does it. Whoa, whoa. Holy crap. So yeah, we'll take a look at the shop options in a little while. Just go for a drive. Oh, we have like um, stop signs. I didn't know this thing had stop signs. Did they actually work? Whoa, whoa! You're on the wrong side of the road, buddy. What the hell are you doing? Oh, what the hell? Really crazy drivers. So yeah, this is the new mod by my game Steam. It is out today for all uh, for PC only, obviously. So that's mods.mygamesteam.com. It's a very, very nice truck. High quality stuff. idiot. So, um, let me show you some of the simple IC features. So... It's simple, I see. So we can walk up to this, you get the X. Put down the bonnet, or the bonnet, the back door. Open up, up the door here. Okay. Open up that door. I don't know if the, uh, the hood, or the engine, the bonnet, whatever you want to call it, doesn't look like it opens up. Back. Can I drop the damn thing? Come on. Put it in the back. There's a door. Hop in the vehicle. Oh, you can open it with the uh, with your Xbox buttons as well. Look. So you don't need simple IC basically. You so I'm using my Xbox controller here. So you don't have to uh, have a simple IC installed. So we put simple IC on internally. Close the door. We can open the window. Don't know if you could see that or not. 
might be a little bit more advan advantageous from the outside. There you go, look. See the, uh, the window goes up and down, basically. Alright. So internally, then you have a light. Okay, there's a light in the back. You can open up the cabin, or, or the, the other door from the inside, and the window. So whatever you want. Uh, so you, internally, you have... This is kind of your interior of the vehicle. So that's what she looks like turned off. Right. You have your center column there. So you can see the dashboard. That very nice. Look, look at the dashboard where all the levels go up and everything. Isn't that cool. Now I should be able to put tension belts on that ball, but it's it's obviously not recognizing it. Because why would it? Not a bail or anything. Or it's not strappable, I should say. It's more accurate to say. So she goes up to 106 mph, I believe. I haven't tested it yet. Oh! Okay. Right, let's get her up to speed. I can't seem to get it past 82 mph, so I don't know what's up with that. Oh! Holy crap! He, 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 oh my god. What the hell, dude? So I am I am hearing something weird uh, with the mod. So if my game stream is watching, I, I am hearing something with the audio. Um, the the sound files, you know the the AUG files, whatever's been used for the engine, there is a uh, there's a clipping sound, and it's it's a repeating clipping sound. Yeah, there, there, there's some, there's some, uh, like, uh, clicking noises or, or something in, in the, uh, the AUG files, the sound files, are, are generating some kind of a clicking sound. So you might want to take a look at that, my game stream. Um, I don't know if it's the AUG files or if it's something else. There's definitely some some kind of uh, weird glitching clip, clipping noises with the uh, the sounds. I, I can actually hear it when I'm idle as well, so it's a repeating kind of clicking sound. So it's like when the AUG file, you know the way it, it, it repeats and repeats and repeats? It's like at the end of the AUG file, it's, there's like a, a, a clicking noise. So you can clearly hear it there.
this is the interior of the, the Raptor. Uh, I don't know much about these vehicles. Uh, leather upholstered seats. You do have shop options to change these colours, obviously. And we'll be going through that. So I do like the engines, uh, engine noises. I don't know if these winches work. I have no idea. Uh, I'd probably have to be on Silveron Forest to find that out. So we have the Ford Raptor F-150, the 2017 version. 450 horsepower. Manual transmission, 120 litres of diesel. Uh, I don't know if these models had def or anything. Uh, it says 106 mph. Uh, I haven't been able to get it up to that speed though. 2.8 tons. And uh, so we have options. We have the front bumper, which is stock. We have an off-road version, which basically kind of puts a winch type thing on the front here. So there's a winch in there and there's a couple of towing hooks. Uh, I don't think it turned... No, it doesn't change anything at the back. Uh, we have the window tint, so we have the stock and then we have kind of a dark tint. So that's that. We have these running lights, so you have these daytime running lights. Uh, you can change the color of them to various different ones. I'm going to go up the the multicolored thingy just to see what it looks like. You have various color options. The interior you can change up as well. Uh, the decal color, so there's a decal on the side here. You can change the color of that. Might have been a nice idea to have a few more color options for for the the Raptor decal. Uh, the rim color should be self-explanatory. You can kind of see the interior there. So that kind of gives you an idea of some of the options. Uh, license plate option, as one would expect. So I guess the thing about this is the uh, these these uh, the mirrors to go in and out. See that so they're animated. So when you enter and exit the vehicle, see that. So that's kind of a nice feature. So I don't know if the um, so there's your running lights. So just. So you can see the running lights, it'll go through a sequence of colors, look. There you go. So it just goes through the various colors. Now, I think he may, might, one might have been nice if he had a uh, kind of just a, a white color, a standard white color as well. Um, take a look at the... Take a look at the, the lights at night time, see what it looks like. So that's your kind of your lights at night time. You have the running lights, obviously. So these are on by default, I guess. Running lights at the back. So you have your first stage lights. So those are to illuminate your license plate. First stage. Second stage, which is kind of a high beam, I guess third stage. So one, two, three. So that would illuminate the bed. There's a little bit of an issue here in my game stream with the license plate. I don't know if you can see that. 
So because of the um, because of the you know the distance. So basically, I, I think you might need to change the light node here, or the distance the light is. You know, some of the, the light node parameters, so you can more act. You can't really see the license plate basically, even with the the lights on. So that might be something that might need a little bit of an adjustment there. So that's kind of what it looks like fully illuminated. So you have these kind of LED running lights that are multicolored, as I said. That's what it looks like in the interior. dashboard lights and everything. It's a very nice interior. So yeah, I haven't been able to get this up to uh, top speed. I can get it to 82 MPH, I can't get it to 106. Whoa, whoa! Holy crap. Put that ditch there. Lord have mercy. Yeah, the, the, uh, the, the beeper on the honk volume is a little bit low for my test. some air there. To the edge of the map here. Is that the edge of the map? I think it is. Oh, it's a nice little area here, actually. You could probably clean this out and, uh, Make it a grass field or something. So that should be the map order there. Uh, I don't know how deep what how deep this water is. Shite. Schnitzel. Whoa, 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 whoa. He does this. Get out of the bridge. Nope. does it. Holy crap. Oh, shite. Drive, 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 drive. Come on. God damn it. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Holy crap. Some epically bad driving today, my friends. Epically bad. Drives pretty well, you know. Not too shabby. 
don't get the sense that it's gonna, you know, tip over or anything or that type of thing. The weight of it seems pretty good. The handling is good. It's not spinning out of control or anything. Outside of my bad driving, you know, it, it actually drives perfectly fine. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, we took... Oh, lovely. Oh, there we go. It's one hell of a ditch. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not too shabby, this thing. Oh, oh! Is that the edge of the map? It is, yeah. So yeah, the, the actual mod itself is very, very nice. Um, you know, I don't have any major, you know, issues with, with the mod itself. This is, I, I do think there's something going on with the sound scheme. There's some rather... I don't know, clipping noises being generated by the AUG files, the sound files for the truck here. So I, I don't know what's generating those clipping noises. Might have to take a look at that. It's not my, um, it is the actual mod because I have other mods and they're absolutely fine. So it's not some kind of clipping or distortion on my, you know, my game or my OBS stream or anything. It is specific to the the action mod itself. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell? Whoa, whoa! She's my driving sir. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much to say with this particular mod. There's nothing wrong with the mod. The, the, the test runner log is clean. The in-game log is clean. It's a My Game Steam mod. You know, it, it, you know, he wouldn't put it out there unless it was you know, absolutely fine. Once again, we have the exhaust extension error, but that's nothing to do with the mod. The mod itself is absolutely fine. I don't have any issues recommending it and... You know, linking it to people, that type of thing, you know. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it does it does well for my game stream. Uh, so, the, he also put out the, the PAS, the, the 8x8 PAS. He put this out yesterday, I think. So, he did make a few changes to this particular mod based on the kind of the feedback I gave him. So, for example, here on the uh, the front here. So, he's added the license plates now to the, the front here, look. In each configuration and there was kind of an an object change as you change the bull bar kind of th setup there um the, the 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 smoke on the truck is 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 good now what i mean by is you can you know it's got dark smoke now there you go look and see that that's kind of what you would expect from a truck like this is to have you know dark smoke um He's fixed the brake force as well. So the brake force is a lot better now than it was previously. So this is available as well from mods.mygamesteam.com the Paz Bandit the 8x8 lovely mod great 
great suspension system in this thing. Look, that awesome. So it's got like all the wheels turning this shit, look. It's gonna be very, very nice on a map like um Silver Run Forest, you know. If you get over all those uh all those hard to get at areas, you know that type of thing. It's the interior of the uh, the truck here, look. You could uh, you could throw a, a party in this thing. The size, look at all the space in this thing. Look, you fit 15 people in this and just throw a party. So yeah, very very nice driving mechanics on this truck. Very very smooth. Be interesting to see what logs though. I'd love to see one once it's weighted with logs. See what the driving physics are like. I think that would be uh, a bit interesting. The winch on the front works. So that's another mod that's out from mods.mygamesteam.com. It's the Paz Bandit, the 8x8, as they call it. This thing is awesome. This is from Road, uh, no, Mud Runner. I think it's from Mud Runner. I think it's been imported from Mud Runner into um, Farming Simulator. As far as I know, it is. I know it's. It's a really, really good mod. It's working on an, an update for the future. See the, the hitch back here. So basically, there'll there'll be an, another little a trailer, you know, a trailer design for the back of this thing. For carry more logs and that type of thing. I, I have been looking at the Don. So this is the... Uh, uh, Tony Miff actually pointed this mod out to me. The, the Don. This is a quote-unquote one from the, the quote-unquote dodgy websites. This is an interesting mod. It's a harvester, obviously. Uh, it's a, ru uh, a Russian uh, harvester. But it has a few tricks up its sleeve that are different to other harvesters you know that type of thing so um the wheel brand uh, we have uh so he's got custom wheel brands on this thing so he's got two different wheel brands the custom wheel brands wheel setup standard with white tires white tire two so that one that's an interesting tire there uh we have the year of manufacturing we have 1985 85, 86, 1991, export, so I'm, I'm guessing for, for different, uh, 1991, and then export, that's interesting. So the export version, it has a longer pipe, it looks like, look. And it has different, it's Belarus, different decals, that's interesting. Uh, so we have the original is 85, we have 86, 85 and 86, so yeah, th there are some changes between 85 and 86, even look, object changes, 91 then makes it a little bit different, the roof is different, look, completely different roof, and then the export version. Interesting. So that's kind of the, uh, maybe go with that one. Uh, we put numbers without equipment. Stacker. Oh, the, the, so this is kind of the, the thing that I wanted to show off. It has this very interesting option here, which basically turns it into a, a bloody baler. Uh, it has a chopper function. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, without shields. Oh, you can see the engine inside. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Without... Holy oh, shit, you've all sorts of bloody things in this. Look at this. There is all sorts of options on this thing. Uh, IZM Export. Holy crap, he's got options on this thing. 
So, but let's just look at the, the stacker version because that's kind of the interesting kind of one for me personally. So you can put numbers on this as well. Up to 10, obviously. Heater, without heater plus elastic bands. Without heater plus elastic bands. Uh, heater without rubber bands. Without heater. With heater. So there's all sorts of weird object changes on this thing. I don't quite understand what is going on with this. So we get the heater. With heater. Without heater, plus with elastic bands. Heater without rubber bands. Without heater. Okay, I, I mean, I, I don't know. So I've just put on the heater, I guess. That Pog Lord, how are you, sir? How are things? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate that, sir. Air conditioning. <coughs> Air conditioning. Uh, where's the object change for the air conditioning? I don't see any object change for the air conditioning. Where's the object change for the air conditioning? Oh, I see. There's one at the top. I see it. I see it. So it's at the top here. Uh, you can't see it. It's in, it's inside the cab, basically. Facing all shields. Without shields. Remove side shields. Jesus Christ, he's got so many options. So basically, you, you can take off all the panels on this thing. Look, holy shit. So if you wanted to, you know, to do, I don't know, role-playing you know, to get into the inside of this thing. You could do that. Look, it takes off literally everything. Holy buckets. So that's the odd shields version. With straw spreader. Oh my god. How many options does he have in this thing? Holy shit. What am I looking at here? With straw spreader, without straw spreader, what well, what's changing here? I don't see anything changing. What am I missing? Oh no, this is actually available at Poglord. Um, you can download this from the quote unquote dodgy websites. It's not it's not a private mod or anything. So it is out there. I can't see what is changing. Is it in the cab, I wonder? I can't see what's changing and with that one. I don't know what that is. No, it, it, so what it does is, in this particular configuration, so you're obviously going to do wheat or whatever, right? So it'll actually make a, a, a bale. It, it'll poop out a bale on the back, but it's it's, an, it's a different shape bale than, than what Farming Simulator allows. It's a completely different shape, um, you know. It's like 14,000 litres, the, the bale is. Sideways on roof. Oh, I see. So the beacon lights. Uh, I think I'm going to put it to the sideways, actually. I like the sideways one. Uh, Jesus, he has so many options on this thing. Holy shit. So there's a hitch on the back. Oh, there we go. So that's a long trailer hitch there, look. Now, obviously, if you want the hashtag realism, once this thing poops out of bail... I don't know if that's going to look right. I'm going to keep it like that, animals. Then your main color, cabin color. 
So you've dif different shades of red. You know, that's probably realistic to the, you know, to the real world machine, you know. So I'm going to go with that one. It's kind of an older type cabin color. Then you can change the cabin look. Uh, we're going to keep it white as well. Uh, you might be. So you're going to need a, uh, you're going to need a modified bale trailer though. Because the shape of the bales, basically the game doesn't recognize them. Uh, I can show you that. So that there's a warning in the X in the uh, in the log here. Uh, so that is the exhaust extension. That's nothing to do with the mod. So the the XML that he's using to to generate those custom bales is is throwing an error. That's nothing. That's that's to do with the map or my game settings. That's nothing to do with the mods. Yeah, here it is. Look. So warning. So the um, the the Don Bale Straw Stack XML. So unknown fill type. Uh, straw Linium for Bale Bale fill type. So basically, he has his own custom XML because he had to do that to to make the the, the specific type of uh bale size and shape. You know. So yeah, it's generating warn warning for the uh, this kind of new bale type that he has on on this thing. Um, you get headers. Ooh. So oh, ooh, what's going on there? Okay. Oh, I was, I was wondering what the hell was going on there. Okay. Um. That's that's kind of unusual. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. So you can you can kind of change pretty much everything on this thing the way he's done it. Decal color. I mean, he he. This dude has put a shit ton of ops in, into this thing. Much much more than I expected. And he's got custom. Even the uh, the PTO color is like a custom color. I wonder what custom color he set that to. It looks like it's like a, a brown, a dirty brown color. Back shield grid. Again, what am I? What am I? What's changing here? Oh, I see it. Oh, so he, you can change the uh, the grid pattern there. Look, that's interesting. Shield all. Oh, you. Oh, look at that. Looks so like you can take off the whole lot. Look, that awesome. So you can expose the entire thing. This guy has done a fantastic job with this mod. Yeah, I got the Ford Raptor. Um, the Park Lord. Uh, Shut it off early on the stream. Nice mod. Nothing fundamentally wrong with it. Well, I I, th I think you know it, it. It depends on the mod. Some mods, uh, there was there was a mod by Agritano or something like that. He had some kind of a truck mod on the mod hub, and y you could literally there's like 150 options. You know, that's that's a bit of an exaggeration, but not by much. But you know, you know, th th there should be some kind of I don't know. You you can't have too many options in a mod, but this one is pretty good. You know. You know, he, he's put a lot of work into this. Um, much more work than I would have initially thought he would have. So you can put the numbers on this. And it's it's a whole pack as well, this thing. So basically, this came with a... Uh, uh, this came with three headers originally. But I, I've taken out two of them. Just, just for myself. Well, I wouldn't necessarily... There, Say they're, sh you know, some of them are, are not, you know, I wouldn't say they're shit, but they're, they're not, you know, to my particular taste or anything like that. You know what I mean? Not every mod in the mod hub appeals to me, you know. Um, and I don't agree with some of the mods that are on the mod hub, you know, the types of mods, you know. But that's just my own personal opinion, you know what I mean? Others have their own viewpoint on that. So yeah, originally, this mod pack came with three headers. Uh, I've only 
include the largest one because that's just the way I wanted it. You get this one then, which is a corn header chopper thingy. Um, I, I I have no idea what this is. It looks dangerous though. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what this is. Is this some kind of a bale stacker? Uh, that should be self-explanatory. Oh, oh, okay. That was a little bit, uh... She's doing the Harlem Shake. That thing is scary. That thing is scary. She is doing the Harlem Shake, baby. Look at that, look. Okay, that, that's officially weird. So look, there's a quite a few mods in this pack, look. I said there was two more originally, but I've, I've cut it down a little bit. Oh, I'm going to have to move this. So, the, as far as I can tell, the log in this mod is clean. So there you go, look, there, it's, it's generating the watering again for the, uh, that special type of, uh, I'll show you the bale, and you can see what it looks like. But the mod itself looks to be pretty damn clean. So this is version 1.2, 1.2.1, I think. So it's had a few updates, you know, so it should be fairly clean. I'm, I'm just wondering if he's going to prepare this for the mod up. That's that's what I'm thinking. Awesome sounds. Holy shit. Oh, those sounds are fantastic. And the, the, the fan spins on the side, look. Those sounds are brilliant. She's a classic girl. Beacon light at the side. Might benefit benefit from a beacon light at the back. So there is a sound scheme for this this pipe here. Oh, I want to... Uh... Very, very nice. See the engine spinning there, look. I don't know what this bale stalker thing is. I'm going to have to see what this is. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait. Ah, uh, alright, okay. I, I don't know what any of this does, but we'll check it out. Jesus, look at this. Look, so he's, all, he's got all the... the look. All the hoses are connected up to this. Shit, you, you, you'll see mod, you'll see mods on the mod up. Even from giants, you won't even see this shit. Look, even official giants mods, you won't see these kind of connection hoses going on. So he's got some kind of a custom color on the um, the PTO here. I want to see what he's done with that. What color he's chosen for that? I like that color. So she's not the fastest in the world, obviously. But it is an old harvester. Right? 
So she obviously uh, steering from the the back. So the um, he's put uh, sounds on the. Uh, Yeah, for that. What what happened there? Okay. Why is there a delay? Okay, I I, I, I don't quite get that, but whatever. I mean, he's he's put sounds even on the uh, the ladder here, which is awesome. Sir Tony, how the hell are you, sir? How are things? Thank you, Julie, my friend. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well, sir. I'm struggling a bit, uh, Tony. I am struggling a bit, I have to say. Wheat. Alright, so we've got a 100% yield in this thing. So, um... This mod is, is much, much higher quality than I expected it to be. Like, substantially higher quality. I mean, look, you can see inside. You have all the parts in there, look. Everything is in there. Everything is animated and working. Connection hoses. All these metallic pieces, look. Look at the level of detail he's put into this thing. Holy Toledo. All the labels, you can read all the labels. Now they're in Russian, but obviously you can but you can you know you can read them. They're legible, I guess is the word. Look at all the uh, that parts there, look, that awesome. Massive level of detail in this thing, massive. All the interior look. All this shit probably works when you start harvesting, I guess. Just give me one second there, guys. So even this here, look. So this is a normal map. Look. So he's created a normal map for this, for this uh, rubber piece here, look. the ladder, you have this part here. All the interior look, everything is in there. That awesome. Look at all underneath here, look. The level of detail in that. Huh? So yeah, he, he went far far and above than what I expected him to, him to do. I don't remember the modder's name. Do you know who made this, Tony? guy has done a fantastic job in this thing. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is spinning as well. Look. Isn't that awesome? Oh, you can see inside as well. I don't know if you can see that. Look. Yeah, you can see inside there as well. So this is your hopper, obviously. Oh. Jeez, that's beautiful. Look at that animation. Oh, wow. That is superb stuff. Gorgeous. Got the window. See all the interior look. All the way in. All these pieces in there. Beautiful, beautiful level of quality in this thing. Uh, so there's a section at the back here you can select this part. Uh, disable straw swath pipe out. Uh, fold harvester, lift header. Or header. So what's this one here? Uh, it's got a bail counter. Why does it have three thingies? Wait, what's going on here? Why does it have three of them? 
Hold on a second. Uh, it's got a bail counter. Ooh. Oh shit! Oh, she's rocking and rolling. Look at that. Ooh, look at this. Holy Toledo, look at that. Look at the level of detail in this thing. Holy shit. Woo. Oh, baby. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that. That is massively impressive. He's got everything animated in this thing. Everything. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so let's do a little bit of bailing and kind of show its party trick, I guess. She's a little bit slower than standard. 5 MPH. So you can see here, look, so it's it's uh So it's putting the, the, the chaff, the straw chaff into this chamber at the back here, look. And you can actually see the uh, the count of it. So the weed capacity is, you know, 23%. Then the ba it has a bale capacity. But then it has a third capacity. Do you know what the third capacity is, Tony? What's going on with the third capacity? It has all these arms, look. Pulling the, the material in. So I think that the bale size is 14,000 litres, as far as I know. So that's the interior of this thing. Look at that, look, oh my god, look at the level of detail in this. Holy shit. Holy crap, that is fantastic. So it beeps. Whoa, 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 here we go, look. Woo! She just pooped out a bail. This thing's amazing. Crop, straw, and... So why isn't the, uh, why isn't the top one going up? What am I doing wrong here? Or you can unfold the finished bale as well once it gets to a certain level. Watch this. Look. Ooh, what's going on here? What? 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 Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see it now. Look. So it does go up and down. Um. animations on this thing are absolutely superb. Whoever did this mod just... Uh, ah, Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I love the way that it's still spitting out little pieces, look.
That is fantastic stuff. Very, very nice. Easily one of the most detailed mods in terms of a harvester I've seen. The fact that he's literally animated every single little part of this thing is fantastic. Now, you know, she doesn't have the biggest capacity. She's an older girl, you know. So you have those custom bales. You're going to need a custom trailer for that, though. So you have this piece here. I don't know what this piece does. That's the thing. So maybe a little bit of experimenting to, to find out, you know, what, what. So once you take that, you know, you have to have it. Is that right? So it won't work without that piece, basically? Straw swath. It's not a straw swath. So, you, in order to make the bales, uh, yeah, you, you need that piece. Uh, it won't work without it, obviously. Yeah, it, it puts the piece on the bottom. Oh, I see. See, a very, very nice mod. Um, then there was some other function as well. Uh, let me just quickly make a, uh, a straw swap here. Kind of another feature of this thing. But, uh, fantastic mod. All the animations on this thing. Just amazing stuff. So let me get another one. Uh, what am I doing here? And then, uh, where's the other header thingy? This thing. Yeah, this thing was a bit weird. So now you grab onto this thing. I don't know if I have the right configuration for this, but we'll try it.
Nice beeper. Uh, where is that straw swath um, I suppose I'm supposed to put down? Where the hell is that? Where is the straw swath? Why do I have to drive to get to the other one? <coughs> Let me deliver the, the head down here. Yeah, very, very nice mod though. Uh, much, much higher quality than I expected. Modern in question has done a very good job of this. Uh, I'd love to see this on the mod hub. Hopefully, it will be. It may not, though, because of those custom size bales. I think Giants would allow that. Maybe for PC only. has a bit of a weird party trick to it. Am I doing it right, Tony? So basically, um, you can pick up the you can pick up straw off the ground, and what it will do is it will reclaim some of the kernels. You know the the, the corn kernels in in the straw. You know, obviously in the real world, um, the harvesters you know they, it spits out some of the, the you know the corn kernels mixed in with the you know the straw spot. So what this does is kind of a recovery thing. Now I don't think that the the it's it's picking up way way too much like realistically you know you wouldn't be picking up hundreds or thousands of, of liters off the ground from you know from, you know, from, you know, from corn kernels and straw swath but it's kind of the basic idea of this thing so you can recover some of the the kernels from the, the you know the straw swath but the uh, I think the the modder has it set on to you know unrealistically high. If that makes sense. So I'm just wondering if I've got the right header. Uh, I don't know what this does. So there's a lot of different components, this thing. Uh, and you have that one there. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know what this does, though. I'd be interested to see what that one does.
So that's kind of a uh, that's kind of a look of the um, the Don 1500. Um, it's a absolutely fantastic mod. Uh, well done, Mr. Tony, sir, for pointing this out to me. I had no idea it was this good, but it's fantastic. Really, really good quality. Holy shit. And the uh, bloody log is clean and stuff, you know. Modder has done a really, really good job at this thing. Very, very nice. So you might want to check that out on the quote-unquote dodgy websites. It is out there. It's available. I said, I, I've, I've edited the pack just kind of the way I wanted it. So as I said, you know, there's only one harvester in this, in my version. But in the other one, you get two. You get, you know, you get three heathers in total of different sizes, you know. But I've just edited the way I wanted it to be, that type of thing. That is not bad at all, that thing. What else do we have? So I, uh, so as you might know, the uh, the Pottinger hit from FS19 was released on the official mod hub a few days ago. I, I've made my own kind of tear customized tiered version of it. Uh, I took the the mod that Gaming Flow made and and I kind of did some adjustments to it. Spotted a few issues in it that um, I thought he should have addressed. So let me give you like an example. The uh, he has no he didn't put in any of the the move support sounds. So that's the move support there when you attach and detach. See the way it goes up and down. So those sounds are not present in the mod that he released. I put those in myself by using the uh, what did I use again? I used the uh, the hit sixteen. Uh, where is it? This thing, yeah. So the the move support sounds uh, from this mod, um, I basically just copied and pasted, and it works absolutely fine on that one. Timings are perfect. So you know, it's it's a uh, 13 meter wind row, or tether. It's from Farming Simulator 19, and he's obviously brought it to 22. So yeah, I I, ma I made a few adjustments uh, to it to my, myself, you know, just to the way I wanted it to be. But yeah, very very nice mod. Has all the sound schemes and everything. Um, what else do we have? Ah, the big M. So we have been doing further work on the Crone Big M 500. We have now got a kind of a, a let's say kind of a, a beta sound scheme in terms of the folding and unfolding sounds. We have completely redone the lights at the front. But I'm going to let you listen to the sound scheme for the falling and unfolding. So this is not the final, it's just kind of a... So yeah, there's a new sound scheme that's been added to the, uh, the big M500 here. 
So I'm going to be uh, asking for further adjustments on this. We've redone the lights. So the front lights have been completely redone from scratch. Their positions have been altered to match the real world big M500. So we've put these plastic... See these... Uh, there's a rubber board uh, piece around the uh, the light there. So we added that in to kind of... See, there's one there as well, look. So basically we've redone the, the front lights from scratch. Uh, move the VIN plate. So the VIN plate now is here. So it was in here. It was in here, but I've, ch I've moved because uh, basically the real world big M500 has the, the VIN plate here. So, you know, uh, you know we're re-watching the, the, you know, the real world videos of big M500 and making adjustments accordingly. The sound schemes are in for the the simple IC animations. Okay. Uh, the timings are off on some of them in terms of the closing animations are off. So you see that? It's not synced properly. Opening is fine. But closing is off. So my game team will have to fix that. Like even in, in cab here. That's perfect, but the closing sounds are, are not timed properly. See that? <laughs> Kobe Gaming, how are you sir? How are things? Thank you for tuning in, appreciate that. So these are all the simple IC animations. You know, before the official release we'll get all this fixed. Uh, there's a little bit of an issue here with the clock. I don't know if you can see that. See, see the way you can say 12.55. See the, the 5 is kind of... The, the lettering is kind of half in. So we're going to have to uh, adjust this. That's perfect. So all of the internal animations uh, and everything are all perfect now key is animated. All the lights and everything were working fine. We have the uh, this thing is working fine now as well look. So she goes up and down and that type of thing. Yeah that's for the uh, that's for the hazard lights. Let's just check the hazards there. So uh, I discovered a little bit of an issue with the uh, with the reverse lights. So um, I asked my game team to fix the reverse lights. Let's see if he did. He did. Good stuff. Just a little bit of a minor issue that I noticed with the reverse lights that needed to be fixed. So yeah, he's done that now. Thank you. Thank you, my game team, sir. Appreciate it. go. That is perfect. One, two, three. So do I have the mod out? Um, so this map is, is very interesting in terms of the crop types. So there's alfalfa and clover on this map. So it gives me a great opportunity to test out the big M500 with, with crops that I wouldn't normally uh, use, <coughs> you know. Well, it does have uh, beacon stony, so it has the beacon here. It has the kind of the, the beacon bar on top. Uh, we fixed the um, we fixed the animation, Tony, as best we could of the the flag. I know you mentioned that the flag was a little bit jerky and weird when you're driving. So we've done our best to fix the animation speed of that. It doesn't look quite as bad as it was, as you can see, look. So we have a field of clover somewhere. 
Uh, if I can find the damn thing, that is. <coughs> uh, where am I on the map? So we're going to field 7. Whoa! Holy crap! Wait, no, I'm going the wrong way, Richard. You idiot. This way, this way. These ditches are deadly. Whoa! Holy shit! No, no, you idiot. You wrong way. There we go. So yeah, I, I've been... Uh, so this was an alfalfa field. Um, I baled uh, this thing. And I was making uh, some round bales, as you can see there. Look, So I've done all this. So this is uh, clover. I'll show you that. No, that's alfalfa. Where's my clover field? Wait a second. Where the hell is my clover field? That's soybeans. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. Uh, by the land, uh, ground layer weeds needs rolling. Uh, we're gonna go, oh, we're gonna go clover, 100% lime state four uh, growth ready to harvest. Yes, yes, confirm. And there's our uh, that's our clover. Uh, it's a ni nice looking crop as well, you know. It's basically just long grass. Um, you can actually, you know, you can mow it and that type of thing. So I wanted to test out the big M with the alfalfa and clover. So, uh, we can, we'll just do a little bit of wide spreading. hire a worker. So you can clearly see that it's putting stuff on the ground here, look. So it, it behaves, it's, it's just basically long grass with with flowers on top, you know. But it acts the same as, as you know, any kind of, uh, you know, grass. So you could come along now and ted that, or you could windrow it. You could pick it up, bail it, whatever. I have to go to swath mode. So the, the yield of this these clover and alfalfa is very high. So you're gonna get a lot of bales off this stuff. So I can put that on a worker there. the base game McCormick. It's probably my favourite tractor in the game. So the mods... Uh, so we have the Vicon Fast Bail. This is from Giants, obviously. I feel like doing um, square bales, though. It's just easier. We could do the baby bales. Do you want to do the baby bales? We have the we have the the round Vermeer one. I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of a uh, Vermeer. We have this beast. No oh, no. Oh. Wait what? What did this stop? I think this is gonna need a headland. I don't think it likes the ground there. The silage additive on it. Oh, we need uh, 
Do we need silage additive? We do, don't we? The bond silage. Uh, we have mineral feed. Why do we need sea salt? I have no idea. Why do we need oregano? What the hell is this stuff for? Oh, I, I, I have no idea. There's a lot of stuff in this map that I haven't fully explored yet, obviously. So yeah, if you put the silage additive in, obviously it increases your yield of your, you know, your bales. So you get more out of the uh, out of the yield. Uh, that should be enough. Uh, where are we driving to? Still trying to get used to this map. Yeah, the ditches on this map are, are deadly. Just be aware of that. You will crash heavy and often. Nothing to do with my poor driving. It, it's, it is the actual the map itself. So we'll just do uh, one of these, I guess. Okay. So we have the barn silage, so that'll increase the yield of your bales. So it's basically, it's just recognizes grass as far as I know. I don't know if it recognizes alfalfa bales. That's the thing. Let's just make one and see what happens. So we have to wait for it to spit it out. The color is different though, look at that. So they, yeah, they, they, it's a, uh, a different green color, that's interesting. On the clover side, as you can see, look. So, what's what's the yield of these bales? Uh, how big are these things? Three thousand five hundred, four thousand. Which is the big bales. So that is one large bale. Did it poop it out? It did. So this is alfalfa. It's 50% fert. What does it mean 50% fertilized? It's one ton. Why would it be 50% fertilized? Um, that's a good question. Why would it be 50% fertilized? Because the field is 50% fertilized, that's why, Richard. Okay, I didn't know that, alright. That explains it. So there you go. Uh, can I get rid of these bales? Unload baler. There we go. So let's do the, the this stuff here now. Yeah, this is a different one. There we go. So this is the clover. So 
So the yield of the clover does seem a lot higher than the alfalfa. Because it's spitting out these bales much quicker. So the worker is doing his thing there, look. So he's mowing the uh, clover. The bond silage is being used, I think. Is the bond silage being used? Does it not recognize... Um, oh, I don't see the bond silage being used on this crop. Yeah, it, that is not moving, that thing, look. I wonder if that's a bug or if that's intentional. Um, so bond silage doesn't affect uh, clover and alfalfa? It has, it has no purpose? Is, is, is that a bug with the map or a bug with the mods? I don't know. That would be interesting to find out actually. If, if that's a bug with the map or the mods. Is there, it, that is not moving. There's our beautiful big end there, chopping away. I think it's going to be a beast when it's released officially. So we'll just take a look at these. So this is clover. It's 50% fertilized because... Well, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. So there you go, that's the reason, I guess. Uh, it's 6,000 litres, one ton. So I do, I do, um, I do wonder why bond silage doesn't work with, um, doesn't work with clover. I wonder does it work with alfalfa? Let's go back down and see what happens with the alfalfa again. Let's see if it's specific to the, cl the clover that's causing that. You can see the, the, gra the green color is different. The, the, uh, the texture color. Let's see if it will have any effect. Nope. So basically bond silage uh, doesn't appear to work with either clover or alfalfa. That's, th that's the lesson we have learned. But I suppose it, it makes sense because the yield from these two crops is very high for grass, you know. So it might be a little bit too cheaty if you could, uh, you know, increase the yield even more than that, you know. So that's what it looks like in cab here. As you can see there, look, the... Um, one of the letters is, is a little bit too uh, in, if that makes sense. It uh, needs to be fixed, basically. So there's your display there. It shows your speed, shows you the hours, the, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the hours used. So it has all a lot of uh, information on the dashboard displays there. That's your reverse camera. It's a static camera view. It's based on the real world machine. It's your engine interior. That engine uh, 
uh, has a, an animation that actually shakes and that type of thing. Okay. And this here. Your death canister, your batteries. have the uh, internal drum that spins that drum inside there is animated it spins all the parts inside there look so it's going to be an awesome mod once it's you know fully done the ladder is animated Get in and get out, the ladder's animated. Mowers are all animated. Everything there spins, works. And the front mowers as well. Those parts are animated as well. custom sounds for the more uh, cutting. It's based on the real world Big M500. This is what it actually sounds like in the real world. When it's cutting grass, that is. So yeah, give me a good opportunity to test um, the mower here with uh, alfalfa and clover and it obviously works perfectly so I'm happy enough with that we have the new position of the lights here redid all the lights in the front part here and they look uh, very very accurate now to the real world big M500 we have the animated skirting See the skirting is now animated and moving. That's brand new in the mod for 22. See it all sways and flows and everything. Look, that awesome. So yeah, it's the uh, the the update. The FS22 version of the Big M500 is going very very well. It's a slow process. But it is going very, very well. And uh, I'm very happy with the progress so far. Lots to do still. It is far from done. No idea when it's going to be released publicly. It's done when it's done, my friends. And, and not a day before. That's the way I look at it. Right, my friends. Um, I am going to end the stream there. Uh, we have been uh, streaming now for an hour and 40 minutes. So, my friends, I'm going to say thank you all very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully that passed away an hour or so, you know. Um, yeah, do check out the uh, do check out that Don Harvester. It's, it's, you know, it's not on the official motto, but it is on the quote-unquote dodgy websites. Uh, it, it impressed me a lot more than I thought it would. Um, obviously, mods.mygamesteam.com. You can get the, the Paz 8x8 Bandit. Uh, you'll be able to get the Ford Raptor. And, and he has many, many other mods. Really awesome ones as well, you know. Right, my friends, we're going to leave it there. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. And God willing, we shall see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.